All right. I'm Mark Futcher. I'm the marketing manager for automatic milking with De Laval in North America. Mark, tell me a little bit about what this, these advances that we've seen today mean for large herd producers in North America. All right. Well, today uh, we visited uh, a farm in southern Sweden, which is the first commercial application of De Laval's AMR, or automatic milking. It's a uh, 24 stall rotary milking 450 cows 2x possibility for expansion up to 900 cows 2x and um, a predecessor to the AMR of course was De Laval's VMS or voluntary milking system which was a, a single box or single arm unit that would have the potential of milking somewhere between say 55 to 70 cows depending on the production level and, and, and so on within a herd. The AMR is uh, a natural progression, we felt at De Laval, to take automation to a larger uh, herd size. You know, and, and the dairy industry isn't uh, immune to advances in automation, the same as, as, as other industries. You know, and we become a bigger and bigger part as farmers attempt to become more efficient and more productive and, and do more with less, ultimately, whether that's uh, less labor, less land and or certainly get get more milk per labor unit invested or per uh, pound of dry matter that's that's what it's all about do you feel uh, more comfortable having um, used the VMS for many years now really having an option that's going to be more uh, uh, more of a fit basically for the the larger herd being in a rotary style and, mm -hmm. and uh, robotics being introduced into that sure uh, de Laval um, has had, I believe, a fair bit of experience with both robotic milking and, and rotaries for that matter. Uh, De La Val installed the first rotary parlor in 1928 at the Walker Gordon facility. And then uh, the discussions with automated or robotic milking at De La Val commenced as far back as 1980 and then was rolled out over time with the first installation in North America of our VMS being in 2001. And so it seemed a a natural progression over time to incorporate both the advantages of, of rotaries perhaps as, as a parlor configuration for larger herds as well then automation and uh, it's something that the industry has been uh, challenging us on for, for some time and we're there and uh, I think um, automation certainly robotic milking brings consistency and uh, you know, standard operating procedures or SOPs have become a, a, a benchmark and a staple on, on most dairies today, of course, and that's a good thing. Um, but uh, automation is, is consistent, you know, and it, uh, the SOP is um, boilerplate, you know, insofar as the, the prep routine and, and procedure and the methodology in which that's done and the time taken. And the same with the attach and the same with that post spray. So it offers I think an enhanced level of peace of mind for the for the owner and operator of, of dairies of all sizes, and and with the the AMR, it's not um, by any means as though we started from scratch. It incorporates a lot of the, the t knowledge that we've we've um, experienced over some 30, 40 years, uh, maybe back as far as 80 some years to 1928 with rotary milking, and then over the course of the past. Uh, say 15 years with our VMS, so incorporating some of those same technologies and experiences, you know, and, and um, blending not only that experience, but some of the technologies and, and with the philosophies, upgradability is, is uh, a, big, a big component, we believe, you know, in uh, delivering a solution today, but um, engineering it such that it can be upgraded over time without having to replace an entire module or, or, or unit. You know, that, I think that's important.